friends. Hi everybody. My name is Tammy Neff. I'm shaking some paint. <laughs> My name is Tammy Neff and I have um, a little store in New Concord, Ohio. It's called Tammy Loves and um, there we have uh, country chic chalk-based paints and all of the waxes and all the things that go with that. Um, brushes and metallic creams and just so many products, hard to name them all. Um, we have that, and then we have um, clothing, we have jewelry and purses, and we have home decor, and rugs and balances, and a lot of things packed in this very small little store. So it's a little overwhelming because there's so much, but you know, there's a, just a, I need a lot. <laughs> I need a lot of stuff. So um, anyway, I am here just giving you guys a minute to jump on those that might want to see this. I have a really awesome client. I met with her a couple of weeks ago um, about just doing some touch up and little things that were bothering her. And um, we went back to a bedroom that she changed the colors in, changed the bedding, and she had a lamp with this, this shade on it. And I told her to go to Walmart, Hobby Lobby, wherever, and pick up some paint. She changed her colors to navy blue and yellow. So um, I told her pick up some paint, and I told her maybe just paint the band here just to pull some color over on a dresser that was wood. She didn't want to paint the dresser, um, so we were trying to get some, the walls are yellow, so we were trying to get some of the navy from the bedspread, like, uh, peppered around everywhere. There's my dog. Are you seriously going to want to go outside? Every video, my dog wants to go outside. We just went outside to get the mail. It's crazy. She hasn't yet, but she might. Anyway, so I had her pick up a blue, and she chose navy. And she ended up and dropped this off at my house because she chicken. There she goes. Because she chickened out, and she didn't think she could do it. But then she was thinking about a video that I had done quite a while ago, um, where I did some polka dots on my uh, lamp shade, uh, on my can light lampshade um, on my ceiling. And so she thought she might want polka dots, so she was afraid to do that. So let me let the dog out. Oh, really, Lola. Come on. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So anyway. Um, so she dropped off the lampshade and the paint. I'm going to do it for her. So I thought, well, I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. It's very easy, and you know me. I'm into polka dots right now. So, okay. So I'm just going to, I just, I have a bowl. Um, you can use a plate. You can use a meat tray. You can use anything. You can use newspaper, whatever. That's not important. You get this pouncer. This is the small one. You just get this at a craft store. Um, and they have a small and a large, I mean, they may have several sizes, but this is just a small, about the size of, oh, it's maybe a nickel, maybe the size of a nickel, a little bigger than a dime. So what you're going to do is, let me just put you down here. Let me just aim you down here so you can just watch me and I don't have to hold it up in the air. Okay. You can see that really good. Okay. All right. So you're going to dip into the paint. So I've got my little dauber is completely covered, and then you're going to get rid of it. You're going to tap, 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 and just get rid of some of the paint, okay? So we've gotten rid of it. It's still fully covered. So then I'm going to, because this one has ribbing, um, where it's like the metal uh, to shape it, I'm going to kind of focus on each panel. So um, let's see, make sure you can see this. now. Watch, I'm gonna do a couple and then I'll tell you what, what to watch here. I'm spinning it, I'm putting it straight down and spinning it. I'm gonna dip again. And get rid of it, I'm gonna dip it on. I'm gonna spin it. Okay, this one's a little bit dull on the edge there. I'm gonna re-dip that one there, that's better. Okay, I'm just gonna now because I have oh because I have so much in my little puddle, I'm not going to the original puddle, I'm going to the, the get rid of it puddle. <laughs> so I'm gonna dip again and then spin it. And then I might go over here off onto the rib just a little bit so I don't have a pattern per se. And then go up here way high like that. And go around the edge. There you go. Okay, now she's got a few polka dots. 
Now I'm going to dip in. I'm going to get rid of it again. And then I'm going to go to the next panel, kind of keeping in mind what I've got going originally here. It's rounding, so it's hard to... Yeah. Keep spinning. It keeps your um, circle, or keeps your uh, polka dots circled there. These are what I call cheater polka dots. You know, you can do polka dots with a paintbrush when you get really good, and you can just spin that brush around, and it does a really awesome job. But um, these are kind of cheaters. So I feel like I have a little bit of an empty space right here, so I'm going to put a dot. And spinning. I see just a kind of a, see that, yeah, you can see that little lip there. So I'm trying to round that out there. That's better. Okay, I'm going to dip back in my little puddle because I've got a good bit of paint there. Oops, stick one down here. They're just fun. It's just a fun way to um, jazz up an old lampshade. Now let's go this way. Um, I'm gonna kind of lean into here a little bit since I have a little bit of a dead spot there. Okay, better dip again. I'm gonna go lower, a little bit lower. Come right in here. There, yeah, I got a couple of dips out of that one or a couple circles, and then I'm going to go up high. Okay, now I'm pressing hard, only one of them went through. Let me show you the inside here. Only one of them went through, darn it, unfortunately, and there's not a thing I can do about it. Um, I've got my paint rather thin, it's probably just um, getting to the top. I don't know because this one's pretty tight. I don't know, anyway, she won't care. <laughs> So there's the finished side, here's the unfinished side. So see how you can take kind of a, a serious lampshade that you've had for a long time and turn it into something fun without changing it much. I think the yellow in the walls are gonna make this gold band be fine or I might even work on just gently trying to get a little bit of color on that, but I really think the gold will work with the yellow nicely. So let's go on around here. I don't know if you guys wanna keep watching or not. Uh, let's see, I see some comments too. Um, I'll, I'll check all of those when I'm all done here, guys. Let's see. So there's that, and then there's that. That's a little tricky one, but you guys saw. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. So then I just need to round it, make it round. So I kind of treated one side, and then it's hard to see what I'm doing here. One side of that lump, and then the other side of that lump. Okay. So... Now I'm just gonna fill in, noticing that my dot's low, so I'm gonna keep it a little bit high. You just really don't want any side by side. You wash these daubers out with water. This is just latex craft paint. You can use chalk-based paint. I'm just using it this because that's what she gave me and it was the color that she wanted. So I didn't open up the chalk-based paints. Had we known I was doing it, I probably would have just used what we had, which would have been called Midnight Sky. It's a beautiful, beautiful navy blue from Country Chic. But it looks a lot like this navy. Dipping it, oh, you can't see my bowl, I'm so sorry. Dipping back in my puddle, dipping in my get rid of it puddle. And spinning oh and then I was gonna tell you okay here's what I want you to watch I just have one panel left so I'm gonna put my finger toward let me dip again here I'm gonna put my finger towards you watch what I'm doing watch my finger there if you can see my finger don't watch the dauber watch my finger I'm spinning it see that hopefully that helped you guys um, see the spin because that's the trick if you go, I'm just gonna show you this. If you go straight on and straight off, it doesn't do it. If you push harder, you risk going all the way through. And see how you just have to keep messing with it? To get a perfect one, watch my finger again. I'm gonna spin it and lift it. And see how it's perfect. Okay, so that's a really good tip, I guess, for anyone that wants to do polka dots but you're afraid. This is a very inexpensive little thing. Like I said, they come in, I think I said this, they come in two sizes that I know of. They probably come in all sorts of sizes, but um, I just have two for our uh, craft classes that we were doing. So 
There you go. Oh, I kind of got three in a row, but again, I don't think it's going to matter. Maybe I should just throw those off a little bit. Let me stick one right here. I'm going to stick another one down here. There, that got rid of that feel. Okay. Oh, I think I need one down here. These corner, these edge ones over this wire are a little tricky, so I'm going to do the left side, and then I'm going to do the other side. That's probably the best way about going about that, instead of trying to push real hard and do both at the same time. I really like that. I could kind of use one here, too. There. Very fun. I love it. You can do it, of course, you could do it in any color paint you want. You could do it on any sort of um, textured. If you get too textured of a lampshade, though, it may, um, it may gather. When you spin it, it may gather in the little nubs on the... Um, on the fabric of the lampshade, so you might want to um, think about that when you're picking your lampshade to do. Um, you know, you can paint your lampshade solid. You can stripe your lampshade either this way or this way with tape. Um, use frog tape. So you can do all sorts of fun things to make your lampshades cute. But anyway, I think Rhonda's gonna love it. I'm happy to deliver it to her. Um, probably tomorrow morning. So, okay guys, thank you for watching. Oh, I said I would look at your questions. Let's see, let me come back. Um, oh, hi Abby, hi, hi honey. Um, hi Judith, and Becky, hi Becky, and Leah, Karen, happy Friday to you girl. Hi Amanda, oh my gosh, you guys should watch them. Do you know Amanda Hilburn? She has the cutest little page. It is called, um, Oh, the little blue, uh, it's a bluebird, little bluebird. I think it's called the little bluebird. It's the most adorable page. Text or comment there, Amanda. Put your link in. She does hand painting and she uses scrap paper. Um, so, like, she'll make uh, flowers and cows and crosses and just all sorts of neat things, but she uses um, texture and um, actual medium that you can feel um, and glues it and then incorporates the paint with it. It's beautiful. So love me some Amanda's little bluebird. Um, good morning, Nicole. Glad I, I'm glad you found me too, Judith. Glad you found me. So, okay guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. And you know, just like that vase, if you have a white vase, you get your um, chalk base paint. You could do polka dots on anything. I didn't do that when I bought that at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you guys probably caught that video. But I just I just saw a glimpse of that in the background. I thought, dang, I'm surrounded by dots. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful Friday. Oh, there's my dog. Bye. <laughs>